everyone. Beautiful Sunday afternoon, May 8th. Have a few minutes before I'm picking up my son and um, not the best ideal uh, background for a video. So hopefully you can bear with me. Today I wanted to talk about pain um, and the differences between regular pain and nerve pain. Um, so for the purposes of this video, there will only be two types of pain discussed. Um, so, okay, here we go. I am pinching myself out and it is sending a signal to my brain that says something, my arm in this case, oops, here we go, is hurting and please stop pinching me for the purpose of this video. So when I stop, uh, when I stop doing that, the pain signal quits. That's a normal response. You know, you could have skin cancer, a broken leg, a broken arm, I, I don't know, anything really that tells your body go get something fixed. So you go to your doctor, you go to the ER, you have it repaired, that pain signal then therefore goes away. Um, all of these are your nerves that are telling your brain that there's something wrong in the body that needs to be fixed. Now in my case with nerve pain, here's the difference. Nerves in my body have actually been damaged, physically damaged. So if my nerve in my back used to look like this, just for the discussion, it now kind of looks something like that because it was crushed by my severe disc herniation for years. And so it's either always going to look like that or I had a spinal fusion and part of that fusion was to give room to those um, damaged nerves. They hacked away like a big hole in my vertebrae for these nerves now to have enough room to kind of relax and get back into normal position. Unfortunately, with nerve pain, the difference is, is that since it's a physical damage to the nerve, it is either sporadically or consistently shooting off, firing off these random pain signals to my brain. Um, and this is why even though the damaged nerve is in my back, it's sending these signals to my brain saying that my foot hurts or my ankle hurts or, um, you know, I've got all these pins and needles and I have numbness and pain at the same time. And this is why it's physical damage to the nerve versus just one, um, you know, issue that I have that's telling my brain there's something to be fixed. So I don't know if that's helpful at all in terms of learning the difference between those two types of pain. Um, but uh, I think it's the best way, at least in the five seconds here or two minutes and 40 seconds that I have here to have explained it to you. Um, and so that's why I take nerve medication. Now, Again, the downside to taking the nerve medication is that it dulls all the nerves in your entire body, not just the one you want to quiet down. Um, it's, it's used off label. It's uh, uh, something that initially was used for people who had seizures. I don't exactly know all the ins and outs and how the medication works, but it does help to dull those nerves in my back that are unhappy so that I don't have that um, pain in the bottom of my foot as as much as I would without it. So anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, I can try to discuss it again another time um, when I have more time. If you have any questions, please email me and I'd be happy um, to reply. Uh, I usually have about 48 hour turnaround time max, but if it's an emergency, let me know and I'll get back to you sooner. Everybody have a great day. Take care and thanks for listening. Bye everybody.